if you're looking for a brush to clean golf clubs, then this is the one you need. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just bought this golf brush. Looks like a giant toothbrush. Using the nylon ends, not the brass ends here. But as you can see, it's double-ended, and we have, if this were a toothbrush, these would be considered stiff, but I think they call them like a soft bristle, so they don't mar or scratch the metal. And on this side, looks like, I don't know, a brass, some sort of metal, almost like wire cables or something like that. On a plastic handle, do have a little dog clip here so you can clip it to your bag but I really like this one for cleaning clubs because many of them have a little I think it's like a tungsten pointer on the end for cleaning out the grooves but the problem is when they point it down where the bristles are it's actually really hard to use the bristles because you get that little pointer that hits the face you know for sticking out the end like that probably be a little better that way I can use it when I want to but I actually don't really want that there. I almost want a separate one, maybe if they put it on the end here. So I found this brush and it doesn't have that groove cleaner on it and I actually really like that. So as you can see, I don't have to worry about it scratching up the club. So let's see if it works. So I've got a dirty club here and I've got the brush here and I'm just gonna go ahead and use the soft side because I don't like using any more aggressiveness than I need to. And it seems like it gets in there pretty good. You can see here, Got some dirt in the grooves. You might need the metal bristles for this or that little pointer, which I don't really like, but looks like I can get in there pretty well. Actually, the grooves are pretty clean already. The best part of this for these little brushes is that when the dirt dries in there, you really need to kind of be aggressive to get it out. But man, those grooves look pretty good. You think there's some dirt right there, but that's actually where I've lost the paint on this club. I should paint fill it again. Looks pretty good. Hey, if you want to pick up this brush, the nice thing about it is it is also the cheapest brush you can buy at $4. I'll put a link to it in the description below, Peter Von Panda. Out.